Hi, I'm Kiwi, that there is Bear, and collectively we're known as Oshali Japan. In our last vlog, we traveled to Mie Prefecture to eat some delicious local noodles, and today we're continuing on our journey to one of Japan's best preserved samurai towns. Yeah, it's really you can't eat this taste in Tokyo. Definitely not. So three different flavor combinations. Delightful brunch to start the morning with. So now we are gonna head about 10 minutes down the road to Sekijuku, one of the three great post towns of the Tokaido road. Following the footsteps of Samurai. <laughs> samurai street. <laughs> so they must have streets. Let's go see. <laughs> So if, unlike us, you are not going by car, apparently it takes about an hour and 10 minutes from Nagoya. Or if you are doing the whole samurai daimyo route, then you can go from Kyoto to Isejingu too. Thank you for driving us though. So we're here. Yeah, we're just going down. So apparently the whole of this town was built around this Jizoin temple and it apparently holds the oldest Jizo in all of Japan. So this place was built originally in 672 and that was the main reason. So I think we better head there first and then walk from there. And the all important post office. Yeah. Let's see if we can grab some postcards. It's actually big. It's 1.8 kilometers. 25 hectare. I don't know how big. Is that an amount of trees? I'm not sure. What's that? It's quite modern. <laughs> Oh yeah, the just surrounding. one minute. Yeah, so I guess this kind of area is housing residential area. That I think must be the temple. Whoa! It's a pretty impressive structure just to have on the corner of a road, don't you think? Yeah. Whoa! Wow. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like the oldest in Japan. I'm not gonna lie, with the deep set eyes, it is kind of sinister looking. This is wood. Yeah, it's interesting, right? I expected it to be some kind of stone or metal. I guess that's how it's lasted so long. But all the colors like gone from this face. Kind of scary, right? Right? Why are its eyes separate? <laughs> Still, good bit of craft work, really, if it's the oldest in Japan. Unless he's sitting on the tatami. <laughs> Chilling. Also kind of faded, right? But it definitely gives a kind of blast from the past samurai era type vibe. First blossom for this year? Could be. I like the chimney, actually. Oh yeah, it's quite rare to see a chimney in Japan, isn't it? Yeah. Very old school vibes. Already old town. It's quite narrow, isn't it? Yeah. Also, cars can come down here sometime in the day, just not now. So we can just chill walking. So we can pretend like we're real samurai walking down these streets. Yeah. There's a car. Ah, oh, private one. Uh, this side, only this side. Ah, I see. So you can drive, but not from this side. So what's this? This is for pee. Oh. Is it? Yeah, it's Oh. What it used to be, or not sure. So now, a little bit of information. Ooh. Right? The roofs are quite no, cool. I mean the oh. Well, I heard that they made like the space between the roof and the floor quite small because they want a lot of storage space. But I don't know. It looks quite big to me. I mean, for the town. I know. I was just commenting on the scenery <laughs> at present. <laughs> It's quite low. I'm not tall, but I guess that's the That's, that's true. Ceiling. Yep. It's just a bathroom. toilet. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it is huge then. It's huge. Yeah. Mago Magic is like Yeah, very, very small. So this is supposed to be one of the like bigger, well-preserved post towns. I can understand it looking at that. Yeah, let's hustle. Yeah, it does seem like narrower than like some of the other post towns we've been to and I do kind of get the houses seem a bit shorter, right? Oh yeah, well, especially up the stairs. <laughs> it does seem a bit weird that you can drive down here though. Oh, yum. They look tasty. I like these old school kind of Showa era vibes, right? Yeah. Studio? Yeah, have a look at the sign up at the top. Oh yeah. 
studio though. Doesn't it seem like a set of like a movie or something? Doesn't seem I guess that stuff isn't in use anymore, but it seems like a set it doesn't seem real. It's real but it's close to there, right? Yeah. Because it's public holiday. Yeah, but it's supposed to rain and snow the next coming week, so today is our best chance to see this in the light without having to sludge through the streets. So shall we go next? Yeah. Lucky five yen coin. I like the touch. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. So I wonder how many shops are actually going to be open today. I was expecting the roads to be completely clear. I wasn't expecting there to be so much traffic, but otherwise peaceful. Otherwise beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Post sign and post office, which is open. Yeah, well, it's open. It's public holiday. Oh yeah, good Oh no, it's not just for the ATM, is it? Oh no. <laughs> just try. Yep. <laughs> Just open for the ATM, but they at least have this. We never seem to plan our trips well, but we do have one exciting plan ahead of us. So this area, as well as being known as a famous post town, is known for its famous wagashi, Japanese traditional sweets, and this shop here has been selling the same recipe since the 17th century. So good. In fact, they were served at the Imperial Palace in Kyoto. So it looks like this one is the one that I saw online and you can have it with tea or you can have it by yourself or you can take it home as a gift. So should you go check it out? So we got the Seki no To, which is the famous recipe unchanged Wagashi, so let's try some. The mm. So Ready? you wanted to eat this? Well, I read that it's got a good bit of history on it, so it must be pretty tasty if it's unchanged. This is our dessert. Yep, so there were three different flavors. There was uh, black sugar syrup, matcha, and also this one. What was this one? Normal one. The normal one. Basic beaches, basic sweets. Mm. Mm. I'm not really sure how much you can see inside, but it's like a red bean and then covered around with like a mochi kind of gluttonous rice type thing and then topped with some kind of tasty sugar. It's good. You mm might. -hmm. Really good. Yeah. I feel like a Kyoto queen or empress, I should say. Adas. Mmm. What flavour is it? Basic flavour, but... Mm -hmm. Right? Tiny but mighty. What flavour? Anko kana. Yeah, aren't they all? Saisho, like, kona zato. Yeah. Powder sugar kite. Wa, amai na to motta. Shono ato ni anko ga sui. Yeah, it's like a nice mix of, like, sweet and almost bitter. Mm. Now I want to try the other flavours too. <laughs> I feel like I'm an emperor in Kyoto. <laughs> Copycat. Happy, worth the money. Right? It really does feel like stepping back in time here, doesn't it? Yeah. Not too old, old. I mean, it's like strange. Recent old, more like Shoah yeah. antiques. Right? It's interesting because we've been to so many different post towns now, like in Fukushima, Takayama, Kanazawa. Kanazawa. <laughs> but they all definitely have their own distinct vibe. This one, although it has like the kind of dark wood that you also see in Takayama, the buildings are a lot lower. Not so sake oriented either, so it's kind of nice to stroll around so many different ones and get a different idea from each of what old school Japan was really like. Yeah. We are almost half. Oh yeah, so that garden, apparently at the top of it there's an observatory so you can see the roofs. This one? Yeah. Feel free to go up. Oh, that does up. Oh, nice blue skies. Here yeah, is nice. <laughs> that's such a Japan winter sky. Oh. Oh, it's weird. It's like actually the roof, right? Yeah. They're just stuck on the roof. <laughs> just for full effects, let me show. 
literally a hole in the roof. Not like over the other tree, but not really. But it's kind of nice to be able to see over the rooftops. Hot <laughs> dogay. Mostly just fun to be up yeah. on the second floor for free. You go back. Be careful. If you're any taller, you can smash your head in. <laughs> So I heard that this kind of area is very famous for its woodwork and I guess that is a prime example. It looks like our little sink hand basin could have been made somewhere like this. Oh yeah, same one. Similar. So I heard that Mie is full of lots and lots of very talented craftsmen that use lots of traditional techniques, I guess. In here must be one of them. All right, temple. Supposed to be different areas, and one of them supposed to be like lots of houses and temples. So maybe. Let's go. This, this area is where I want to go. It's so weird. It's like going through someone's garden to end up in like a different world. Ah, <laughs> da? Yeah. That's so bizarre. It looks almost tropical, doesn't it? With yeah. the palm tree. I feel like I could be in like Okinawa or something. Yeah, it looks like Shisa, right? Right? I wonder if it has any influence of it. Hmm, Shisa. <laughs> looks like it, right? No information about whether or not it's been influenced by Okinawa, but those palm trees, that blue sky, feels like a whole other world. Okinawa is going to go to Okinawa. It's still It is old town, but not touristy at all. Not at all, but it feels much more residential compared to the other ones we've been to. Yeah. There's like cute little markets. Apart from the Wagashi shop, it's more or less just a normal residential place, right? Yeah. Oh. So, just a temple. I guess that's shrine as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should we go? Yeah, looks like the only one in the area. So we are here, right? So just down this road. Well, this is the end. So not actually that far. Yeah, we came from here. Yeah. So this is the Seki Shrine. Oh, what? It, it looks like seesaw too. Again, yeah. They look like they're kind of doing a bit acrobatic yeah. movements. Hi, Morotiyasha. Back on the main road. I guess here is like a really nice area if you do want to just experience a town, like not touristy, like there's really no tourists around, just living, walking like you're in the samurai age, eat some sweets, chill, take lots of nice photos. The fire hydrant isn't quite as cute as Shirakawa <laughs> So we are on the edge, actually. So we've made it all the way through that street. We've seen a couple of temples, we've seen the shrine, We've seen the food that there is to see for Sekijuku. But before we head back all the way down there, mm -hmm. down Sekijuku to our van, I think it's time for us to eat like royals once more. So I hope you enjoyed our tour mm -hmm. of Tokaido's greatest post town. And we'll see you again next time. Say no. <laughs>